Hey, what is going on Wildlife X team? This is Michael here, and today we're going to be talking about bird infestation. Now you can see in this video right here, there are several birds in the attic of this home. They found a very small entrance and there's a ton of them infesting this home. This can be a problem because the droppings that they leave can actually damage the property. It can be a threat to any pets or animals or even you guys, and it's generally not good for the property. <clears throat> You see, pigeons have learned how to survive in most environments, and bird infestations, while previously not a problem, are starting to become a problem across the United States and other countries. The reason for this is because there primarily weren't many types of certain birds, it was more diverse, but with urbanization, that is the expansion of cities all around the world, certain birds are finding it easier to survive, such as pigeons, because they are expert scavengers. In fact, they're so amazing at scavenging our waste food, they are the perfect environment for them to hang in. They love cities because we have waste all over the place. The longer pigeons live in a certain area, the more of a problem they become. This is why it has recently in the past 50 years especially became a problem because they normally live in flocks of 50 to 500 pigeons. So you have to get rid of them before they get too big and what has kind of happened in a lot of American and Canadian cities and all around the world is our urban cities allowed for an advantage for pigeons to survive. <clears throat> you see other animals kind of struggled because it's a city and they're more used to nature, but pigeons, because they're so good at scavenging, they found our cities very nice and their population levels have absolutely exploded recently. So some of the problems with bird infestation includes that they can spread disease to you, your kids, the elderly, and also your pets. They can also damage your property, and they can in general be a hassle to deal with. So like we said, the droppings can damage your home, but it also, if it's not even going to damage your home, it's kind of a problem to have those droppings all over the place. So here's some signs of a bird infestation. If you see lots of birds settling on roofs or ledges, this can be a surefire sign that there is a huge bird population starting to come in here. The next could be bird noises all over the place, so continuous bird cries, especially from young chicks, not just normal singing birds. And in cities, you'll often hear birds singing. That's totally okay, but what we mean is like the scratching, the baby birds, etc. And especially if you can hear that from within your home, it could be a potential warning sign that they somehow got in between the walls or in your attic. The next one would be bird nests. So if you're starting to see nesting materials strewn about your premises, such as, I mean, you kind of know what a nest looks like. If you start to see these things build up around your home, you definitely have to stop that before it becomes a problem. The next is damaged stock. So any pecking that the birds might doing, as well as bird fouling, this can slowly damage things. Uh, and same for droppings as well. So anything where you are seeing bird leftovers, that is definitely going to be a sign of birds. And then you might be seeing more feathers and debris from nests, and it could also block um, drainage thingies as well. So, you know, if you have a little gutter to let the water off of your roof, it could actually damage that, and they will oftentimes leverage those things to make their nests. Pigeons prefer roof spaces to nest in, and they also can enter cracks as small as one inch. So imagine that even if you have a small little hole the size of one inch that leads to your attic, this could be a literal problem and there could be a ton of birds starting to go in there. I know that I've personally explored attics in apartment buildings and this tends to be where all of the pigeons hang out. Usually you step into these things and wow, there are so many birds that freak out and fly out everywhere. And sometimes you're not even sure from where they came in if you're not paying attention, but there are a lot of birds that will hang out in people's attics or in between the walls if they can find a way in. So for fixing a bird infestation, keep in mind that it is illegal to kill most birds. So this could get you um, in jail, in prison, or with a huge fine, depending on what you did in the state that you're in. So don't you dare kill birds, because that is a very, very bad idea. And it's just going to make the birds aggressive and not going to be too effective. Our best tip is to try and block any openings, openings in and out of your attic, as well as anywhere else they might be infesting. If all else fails and you're not able to remove the nesting, which you should do, by the way, while they're away without chicks, 
If all else fails, then we highly recommend calling a wildlife removal expert, but you have to catch this as soon as possible. So if you're starting to have an issue, close up the entrances or exits, get rid of those animals. But if you're not able to do that in time and it's becoming a serious problem, then we highly recommend calling a wildlife removal special such as us. We will have our website link in the description below because if you let this continue to grow, it'll just get worse and worse and more expensive. So it's better to pay the small upfront, free, upfront fee and get rid of them while you can instead of waiting until it becomes a rather larger and unfortunately more expensive problem. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Birds are really cute, we love their singing and everything, but they can be a problem in city environments. So do what you can to protect yourself, but don't forget to enjoy the beauty of birds and the singing itself. We really hope you guys enjoyed this video, so make sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, we will be answering questions in the comment section below. And as always, slap that subscribe button if you're new here. Guys, this is Michael with Wildlife Hicks Team. We're hoping you're having a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.